All right, guys, today is evaluating expressions. Um, so what they're going to do is you're going to get a value for a number or a variable, I should say. And then you have to input that number to where the variable is. So we have y times 5. Remember that dot means that over y plus 2. So what you're going to do is take 3 and replace it in the y. So 3 times 5 over 3 plus 2. Then PEMDAS, remember, multiplication comes before addition and subtraction. So we're going to solve the top part first. I'm going to change my color. So we have 3 times 5, which equals 15. And now you can solve 3 plus 2, which equals 5. So it says, if needed, answer as a fraction or a decimal. This is great as a fraction, except we know that 15 and 5 can both be divided by 5. We need to make sure that we're reducing to simplest form. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. And 5 divided by 5 is 1, so our answer, we're going to type here at the bottom, would be 3 over 1. You're going to want to use that da or the um, diagonal for that. Maybe they just want 3. There we go. You had to just put it as 3. They didn't take 3 over 1, but we know that that is a, uh, still a number. All right, so again, we're going to evaluate. We're going to take x. And we're going to replace it with 4 in both the top and bottom. So x plus 4 becomes 4 plus 4. And 3x, remember that means multiplying, becomes 3 times 4. So PEMDAS, we're going to solve the bottom first. 3 times 4 is 12. And then 4 plus 4 for the top is 8. So now we have our fraction 8 over 12. I'm going to reduce that down because they're both even. So let's start at 2 and see where we go from there. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And again, we have another even set of numbers. So we're going to divide by 2 again. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now we know that our answer is 2 thirds. So I'm going to put 2 slash 3 and we get it correct. Okay. Um, it costs $125 to rent a swimming pool, plus $450 per person. Per is important. They have it underlined for a reason. Okay, they have it saying for each. So $450 for each person. What would be the total cost to rent the swimming pool for 30 people? So this is where you have to kind of make your own expression. So we're going to highlight what's important. So $125 starting to rent it. Then you also, plus, that's important, 450 per person. So here's where our original problem is going to kind of look like. We have 125, and it says plus 450, so that's 4.50 per person. So I'm going to use the um, P as my variable to show my problem. So there's my expression. So my expression is... Um, hold on one second, sorry. I'm going to try to write it neatly. $125 plus 4.50 times P. Okay, the reason I have times P is because that's per person. And we're making sure that we have everything together. So I'm going to read through it again. So it costs $125 flat to rent the swimming pool. So there's my $125. Plus, there's my plus sign, $4.50 per person. So I have everything I need now. Now to be able to solve it, I'm going to have to read the rest of the problem. So let's see. We have to figure out the total cost for 30 people. So now I can take 30 and input it into this part of the problem. So I keep 125 plus the 450 stays 
Now it's going to be times 30. I'm not going to solve this. You're going to solve it on your own. But this is how you would set these problems up. Um, I'm going to just type in a random answer. Okay, then they tell you um, that's not correct and they give you the video explanation. I'm going to pause it. So you... Alright, here's a little bit of a different problem. So, um, the distance traveled can be calculated using this formula. Distance equals speed times time. That's what that's saying. Um, so, S equals speed and T is for your total time. A bus traveled 25 miles an hour for 7 hours. And we need to figure out how far. So, we know that 25 miles an hour is going to equal to speed. And total time was 7 hours, so that equals t. All you have to do is take 25 and input for s. So this is our original problem. It's okay if the equal sign is in front. It doesn't change anything. So now I'm going to take 25 and input for s and take 7 and input for t. 25 times 7, I'm going to pause it. All right, and back to this real quick. So the distance traveled can be calculated using that formula. This situation wants to know a total distance of 240 miles. So now you have to figure out which problem, when you see the word four, it means multiply. So you have to figure out which problem works here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and be done with it for now. Hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any more questions.